Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, I have a very cool looking and um, slightly dusty, I apologize. Slightly dusty, but still cool looking die cast here. Uh, if you know me, if you know the kind of cars that I get, I love the, um, I guess you say underdog cars. Um, kind of the, the field fillers, the back markers, whatever you want to call them. And Rick Ware Racing at this moment, at least in NASCAR, does still fit that category and it's really cool also because i believe don't quote me on this i believe this is josh balicki's first and so far only die cast that has been made and i know rick ware has actually over the years even though they are like i said kind of a back marker team um they have had a decent amount of die cast made and i have a few you know um i have a promo one right there for uh austin terrio somewhere i have a cody Ware um east carolina car and i know they made a clemson car i don't have that one um so yeah and there's others that i'm blanking on but um yeah they actually have a decent amount and uh this one is really cool because it's a color chrome um i got this from plan b slash circle b um, they made an announcement or a post one day saying that uh, Josh Balicki came in and um, signed in paint pen these cars, both the normal ones. And as you can see, this is color chrome. You might be able to see me there. Hi. Um, and if you don't know, color chrome finish um, is basically kind of like a mirror. You can see it here. And it's really good in black because it's kind of like a straight, a straight mirror. Some of the other colors you kind of get, you do get that mirror finish, but it's kind of like having it through a color filter. This one is a pretty, pretty straightforward mirror. Um, but at the same time, you can still tell that it is black. Um, and obviously, I already wanted this car when it came out because, as I said, I love the underdog teams and cars and drivers, all of that. And... Um, you know, I already wanted it, but didn't get it yet. But when they posted that, they had him autograph it in paint pen for no extra charge. It's like, now I got to get this. And at the time, the car itself had been out for a little bit. So I guess the whatever demand was there um, had fallen a little bit. So the color chrome was the same exact price as the regular. So it's like, I don't have a color chrome of 124. I actually don't think I have any. Um, so why not get the color chrome if it's the same price as the regular now? So that's what I did. I got the color chrome Josh Balicki Insurance King 2020 car. I believe it's 2020. I already forget. Um, right off the bat, let's just say this is DIN 19 of 84. And I guess specifically, this isn't just Insurance King. This is Insurance King, the Wounded Blue. The it, It's something along those lines. I forget the official name, but it's a specific paint scheme for, um, for you know, police officers and uh, stuff like that. So anyway, um, let's just get on to my normal stuff. Um, no trunk. It is ARC, but you have the roof flaps. We have the hood. Let's see if it's going to open. We, we're going to use the pen. And also, I forget where this ran. Obviously, there's a short track because there is no window. There is no passenger side window in this one. Meaning that I think it was Martinsville. But don't quote me on that. That is a guess. I'm going to use the tip here. We got it. Now, I don't remember if this is the case, but the underside might be color chrome as well. I think it is. You can kind of see it is color chrome down there uh, with the Chevy logo. It doesn't open very far, but there is your engine detail stuff. Um, you know, I've already shown it, but here is the autograph and blue paint pen, the little Plan B sticker. Just pull a key name. Um, the paint scheme itself is very plain it's black but like i said for a special finish it works very well having it mostly black if it was like a 50 50 car meaning like half of the car was black half of the car was something else it would be a different story it wouldn't look as good it's still great don't get me wrong but 
that's I wouldn't be as interested in getting the color chrome if it was like that. You know, the fact that it's like 95% of this car is uh, the color that they made in this finish is really what sold me on this. And I, I love this. This is actually one of my favorite uh, 124s that I have now. Um, so anyway, back to the design of the car. Um, like I said, it's just black. You have kind of a different black down here on the side skirt that is not part of the uh, drop color. Um, and then you have a um, American flag with the blue stripe that signifies, you know, support for police and all of that. And then you have this little logo here. I haven't actually read what it says. Wounded blue, never forgotten, never alone. Basically what it says on the quarter panel there. And... Um, yeah, as far as design, that's it. All the numbers seem to be white with kind of a shadowy gray as well. Um, and then it looks like purple. I'm, I assume it's supposed to be blue, but this looks like purple to me, the outline. And then a black kind of shadow outline outside of that. I do kind of say it does look kind of weird though when you have the regular black up against the black that they used for the uh, color chrome because I don't think that comes up on the regular I think it just blends in but you do notice it on the special finish here the difference between where the outline is and where the rest of the paint scheme is uh, one thing I do want to uh, note even though I'm like touching the car and stuff right now I'm also trying to be a little bit careful because these are kind of fingerprint magnets if you can tell I think mine still looks pretty good but I'm sure I put a few fingerprints on it in during the course of this video so uh, anyway, I guess we're on to sponsors. I don't know if I mentioned you also got posable wheels, which is standard for any 124 uh, cup cup car anyway. Um, sponsors, you got Insurance King, thewoundedblue.org, Never Forgotten, Never Alone, InsuranceKing.com. Um, you got nothing on the A or B post. Well, you do have something on the A post, but it's just that. Uh, C post, you got the boss. What is that? Builder's Outlet Superstore with a little uh, beaver or something. Uh, Shoptheboss.com, retired Lieutenant Douglas Block RPD, something police department. Um, InsuranceKing.com on the back, The Wounded Blue on Declid, and InsuranceKing.com on the roof. So yeah, pretty cool car. You know, good cause on the car, uh, great car overall, great underdog car, as I've said a few times, I, I love getting those cars, and what's also great about the underdog cars is that the average fan will most likely not go for these cars, so they're usually pretty readily available, and in this case, uh, the price dropped enough to where it's the same price as the regular finish, so it's really cool to uh, once again get the color chrome because I believe this is my one and only so far. Um, but like I said, I, I don't want to like get special finishes all the time. Because I do like realism. If it's a finish that kind of... Um, kind of... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Um, doesn't have that realism look to it anymore. Like a raw finish. I might try to get a raw finish once. Just to experience how it is. But in general, you know... Like the raw finish to me isn't super appealing because it just doesn't look like the same car anymore. So some of the other finishes that I don't even think they do a lot anymore. But that I know exist like a frost finish I know is also one which is kind of similar. Um, but yeah, a finish like this on a black car still looks pretty similar to the original. And you just get a really good finish on it. So uh, yeah, other than that, that is it for me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.